Good morning everyone, it's Darla at Scrap Happens here with Tuesday's tip. I've been out in my workshop messing with the glossy paper. I just love the glossy paper. I've done a few different techniques. One we did in my classes last month and this is just brushed on with um, ink pads. You just wipe them on with your ink pads. I'm going to show you how I did that today. This one, these here, are heat embossed with the sayings from the Layering Love stamp set. Um, I just heat embossed them with clear embossing powder. You could also use white. I then dropped ink on them to, and then sprayed them with um, water with my Stampin' Mister. This technique is my favorite. I really like the look that it gives. Um, this is just drops of ink on the glossy paper with, and I sprayed it with alcohol. Um, I put alcohol, rubbing alcohol in my stamping misters. It's really a fun technique. And I'm gonna show you how to do them. So they're really messy, but they're really fun and they're really beautiful. So the first one I'm gonna show you today is just the brushed on ink. I use Pacific Point for that. No yellow at all. My ladies thought I was crazy. Are you sure you didn't use yellow? Because they looked like there was yellow. But I just used Pacific Point and I used Wild Wasabi. Oops. You just rub it on there. This is one that Stampin' Up, Stampin Up had on their website. And I shared it with you, I don't know, probably about a month ago. They had some videos to try. So see how that just kind of brings out more color? And then a really cool thing, I've got my wipes, was one of the gals at my classes, she wasn't real thrilled with the coverage, so she took a wipe and just wiped it off. And then if you wipe too much, just add some more. Really fun technique. Really cool look. I love it. So I'll leave that over there. And it dries really quickly so you can get started on your project really quickly. So next, um, these, I didn't preheat emboss any lettering on there, so I'm just going to show you with plain glossy cardstock. Um, the difference between the alcohol and the um, just plain water. So for my larger circle, I'm going to use Bermuda Bay ink. And just drop a couple drops. And the, this one, last, that was the crushed curry. And I'm going to spray it with water and show you what that looks like. I'll move these out of the way. And you just kind of let it drip around. you got to have a paper underneath because it's very messy and your fingers get messy so a glove is probably a good thing to have now if you don't like that just add a little more water if you do like it just set it off to the side to dry super easy really pretty and then I want to show you with some Melon Mambo ink. Oops. And some pumpkin pie ink. The rubbing alcohol. I like the alcohol best because it just, it gives it a different look. But I also really like it because it dries really fast.
and you can use it on your project really quickly. So just a couple sprays, a couple drops. If you want it to wash a little more, you can. And then it just dries in minutes and you can use it for your project. So I'll be making some projects with these today and sharing them on my blog. So be sure to go to my blog, Scrap Happens Here Darla.blogspot.com, and you can see some finished projects um, with these that I've done this morning. Hey, thanks a lot for stopping by today and watching my video. I appreciate it. I love to share what I do with you. Have a great day. Thanks a bunch.